This program provides an uncensored look into the personal lives of people who make porn. Viewer discretion is advised. Crazy party last night. A lot of people showed up, had fun, some crazy shit happened. Uh, Say Sergio from doing some things. I'm still half buzzed um, from last night. A lot more happened than I, maybe I'll talk about later. I've seen some pretty wild shit. The fire performers were great. Like, seriously, they did their thing. Today is the day. We're going to Vegas. Vegas is going to be a blast. I got my bags packed, my boots tied tight. Going to Vegas. Cage and Caden both are really cool guys, but cool doesn't get you into Las Vegas. What gets you into Las Vegas is 21. Can I try to get wild? Sorry. So I'm not fucking going to Vegas, guys. Thanks. Thanks, underage fucking rules. I can do porn, but I can't drink. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to get on a plane. I'm still fucked up. Adios. <sighs> Have sex with guys like they're girls. That's what I do. The first scene I did, immediately I realized that I'm totally straight. Every noise you make is fake. Every thrust you do is fake. It's extremely difficult. <laughs> if I wasn't getting paid, obviously I wouldn't film. If the money's right, then pretty much anybody will do anything. Nobody in my family knows. My girlfriend knows. Every time I've ever said I'm never gonna do something, I've ended up doing it. Whether or not being gay is wrong or bad, it's where the money's at. Every city has a gay area. You know, sometimes they call it Boys Town, you know, no telling what they call it. A Mangrove, I think, is one in, in St. Louis. Uh, we've probably been to all of them. The only one that we hadn't been to was the Fruit Loop. And that is the uh, home to the gay area in Las Vegas. So when the opportunity of Vegas came up, we jumped right on it. I believe we did 18 events this year where Shannon and the models are traveling all over the country. We're meeting our customers. We're making sure that they're getting to meet our models, get to see who we are. We're not just some anonymous website. We are real faces. We're going to Vegas, bitches. Vegas is one of my favorite places in the world. I can't wait to get there. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get all of you guys, Sergio, you're gonna stand right here for me. I do all the marketing photos, I do all the photo shoots. I would never ever thought in a million years that I'd be working for a gay porn company, ever. Is there anything here you wanna see while we're here? Um, I wanna see a naked female. And three. Oh. Yeah. So we actually work in the adult industry. That's awesome. Yeah. So who's never been to Vegas before? This guy. This guy, right here. Rookie? Rookie? I'm just going with the flow. I'm, I'm here for the good time. <laughs> I have been to Vegas before, but only with my girlfriend. I haven't been able to indulge in the, in the nightlife, so I'm excited for that. Break the rock, Sergio. Vegas is freaking awesome, dude. Like, I've seen all this stuff on TV, and just to like, be here in this is like, I don't know, it's almost surreal. And three. Ah. So I would say that the number one goal of Broke Stripe Boys is to make our fans feel important, make them feel like they're a part of the action. Getting to know the guys, getting to know what's there besides um, just the hot bodies. It's more than just the hot bodies. They've got personalities. We have some very special guests with us this evening. Oh look, there they are! These are the boys from BrokeStripeBoys.com. So we're not like a lot of the other uh, porn sites out there. We understand that behind every computer is a person that wants to meet the guys that are behind every camera. So I think the great thing about Broke Straight Boys is that we allow that to happen. Broke Straight Boys! Their job is to be on with the fans, to connect. You know, a lot of times that they come to us, they haven't had any background training on, on how to work with the public. So we're teaching them more than just how to do a proper scene. I know a little bit about Vegas Pride. It's pretty typical of any Pride event. There's a parade, there's parties, there's after parties. 
I don't mind being in front of people, and I'm gonna have all the guys there with me, so we'll all be dealing with it together. We're traveling from January all the way through December at different Pride events around the country to meet our fans, to meet new fans. My first Pride event, you gotta support the gays. I don't think there's any secret that I, I work these guys hard. I, I work their butts off. Not really knowing what we're doing here, and we're packing in like two weeks of work in three days. That's a little crazy. They work hard from early in the morning to late at night, but the guys that make it to the tour are the ones that I know can handle it. Their job is to sell product. That's part of it, you know? We have a lot of product that we work with that they could take the guys home, you know, um, with the DVDs. You know, if you're standing there and meeting Denver Grant or Paul Cannon or Jimmy Johnson or Sergio, then that's overwhelming to some people. The thing is that they, they have to realize to the community, these guys are superstars. They're famous. I mean, maybe at first you like the attention and then it just gets super old. You get sick of people thinking they can just grab you or that you're just some sort of sex fiend or something like that. It's not easy uh, being out there and staying up all night a few nights in a row and then uh, having to go to the Pride Festival the next day and try to put on a smile and, uh, you know, make people happy and take pictures with them and all that when you're hung over and tired. I know it's gonna be more work, less play, but I think we'll have a great time. The most important part of their job is to make an every person feel welcome that they come into contact with. This is the biggest pride parade that they've had in the 30 years we've been doing this. This is my first time in a limo, man. It is your first time in a limo. Yeah. Hey, we're here for the party, baby. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Shannon. The test results are in. His results were inconclusive. Shit. Now go behind the scenes and find out how far these straight boys will go to get paid. Over 1,400 scenes are online at BrokeStraightBoys.com. This is the biggest pride parade that they've had in the 30 years we've been doing this. It is over 50,000 watching. This is the first time that it's actually being um, televised worldwide. A lot of girls looking, there's gonna be a lot of gay boys looking. I want you guys to make everybody leave here with a smile on their face. It's gonna wanna go right to the internet, watch you on the way to the club. I got to go out on the float with Denver while Jimmy and his best friend Sergio were walking next to us. I don't know, we just made complete fools of ourselves and danced and had a great time, which is what I'm great at doing. The pride parades I've seen a lot of energy, and it was huge. A lot of people showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Fruit Loop. It's nice to see people happy. Hi guys! Wow, I'm glad you all kept it simple this year. Just simple. You guys did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Right there, baby. Right there. That was fun. Yes. That, was awesome. yes. that was the best event ever. I'm so chair. proud of you all. All right, so guess what? Now we're getting ready to go to the club. We're going to do the same thing as last night. We're going to uh, be, be hyped up. We're going to have a good time. We're going to give stuff away. We're going to tell people about Broke Straight Boys. Mark, can you do me a favor? Can you call the taxis? We need two taxis. We're not taking a taxi. What? I ordered a huge limousine. Yeah! What? You ordered a limo? Yes. We got Big a ass huge limo. limo. Okay. Now I have it all arranged. It's all set up. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you for real? Big limo. Right, yes, boy. That's right. how we're gonna do right, it so much. <laughs> So, Alright, I guess we're gonna do Vegas, uh, Vegas style in a limo. Yeah. So let's get ready. Yeah! Alright, let's do this. Come on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Oh boy, Dude, this thing is nice, baby. Nice. Damn. Wow. I really wanted the, the guys to have some fun. So, you know, I rented a limo. Toast to Mark. Yes, toast to right. Mark. Toast to Mark. Woo! Yes, yes. Mark. Hey, this is my first time in a limo, man. It this is your first yeah. time in a limo. Yeah. Yeah. I will Woo! drink. And I think like that helped everyone, you know, especially Shannon, like with, with unwinding a bit. Tell me about your girlfriend. Oh my God. She looks like a She's model. She's gorgeous. With a She's booty. absolutely gorgeous. Really? I haven't met her, but I've seen She's like picture. Your girlfriend's parents, they just found out today. They just found out today. Why did you tell them? Or, or I didn't happened? tell them, it was her decision. Oh, wait a minute. She told them because she of the show? She told them because of the show. Wow. I asked her to come out. So what happened? I'm not sure what happened exactly. <laughs> this shit just got real. Like, wow. Um, How do you feel about that? I don't know yet. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, 
deal with it as it comes, I guess. Roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For whatever. Do you think you would ever stop doing this because of what somebody else thinks? For her, yeah. Really? Would yeah. Would. If she up? asked you, not if they asked that you. If she asked me to stop doing it, I would. Why? Okay. Why? Definitely. So would you stop doing it? Why would I stop doing it when I was the smartest porn star alive? No, no. And I told all my best friends, but all my best guy friends, my entire family. You know what? Hotel. We're in Vegas. The rules tonight are we don't talk about the rules. Exactly. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Rogue straight for Hello? 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 Sabrina! Sabrina! Hello? Hello? Sabrina! I love the picture that you sent us earlier. I know. They're so adorable. Honestly, okay, yeah. listen, listen, we baby. Go. We are at the club, so I have to get them ready to go. So I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, take your clothes off. We're here. What's up? Oh okay, yeah, baby. Hey. hey, we're here for the party, baby. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, ready to party? Right. Are y'all ready to have fun tonight? We're ready. Yeah. Ready to have fun? Oh, Coach Come on. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Yes. Can I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm filming with somebody else that has done a lot of scenes like myself. I like to get close up. I like to shoot like I'm watching it. I want to be there. I wish I did like it because I could probably perform a lot better. If I gave you more money? Yeah. Okay. Some, yeah. Now go behind the scenes and find out how far these straight boys will go to get paid. Over 1,400 scenes are online at BrokeStraightBoys.com. Guys, here we are. How about we do the scene right in here? How about, no. I don't, I don't How about like we're doing it out there? I don't like the bed. I like out there better. Why? Because the bed sucks and it's all romantic. This, that gives more options. And uh, do we look like the romantic? It's, it's not like it's not as gay. Yeah. yeah. Something like this. A little bit of this. A little bit of like that. You can't even balance yourself. <laughs> it looks like a frog. Okay. Well, how about this? How, let's do this. Let's start off on the bed and do our oral on the bed. Fortunately, I'm filming with somebody else that has done a lot of scenes like myself, so we we should get through it pretty fast. You know, when you're with a new person, that's when things are just like, oh god, let's just let's roll. How many scenes did you, did you have with Brooks? Probably like 18 or 20. And then yeah. you have. I want to say 14. Okay. Yeah, right so around. he still has some more scenes in him. But I, I wanted to, the reason why I wanted to bring you out is because you were really good. You're a good top. Boom. Which means, guess who's going to bottom? I, I don't mind. Right. It's a lot less work. It's not like I prefer it. I rather top any day. But uh, it's just so much easier. You don't have to do ne nearly as much work while you're actually filming. You know, you're so not turned on at all. Uh, even you can take whatever you want and it's a lot more work to keep it up That's the hardest thing to do is keeping it up. You're pretty much ready other you, than the magic I've, pill I, Well, I've got your your videos and stuff. Yeah before the scenes I usually take uh, I think it's called Tibet Babo. It's like a it's like a Some pill that's made in Asia, but it's not like a prescription or anything. I might start out over here talking to you I may go over here, but I'll eventually end up here so the scene we're doing today will probably end up being like 40 minutes on the internet and uh, probably take like maybe an hour and a half, two hours to actually do it. Um, I like to get close up. I like to shoot like I'm watching it. I want to be there. You like okay? to smell the action, huh? I don't want to smell it too much. Sometimes <laughs> it smells so good. I wish I did like it because I could probably perform a lot better and do a lot of other, uh, what's the word, um, gay shit. But uh, I just 
don't like it at all. I wish I did. You all got your BSB underwear? No. Okay. So you got your BSB underwear, and then we'll uh, just start our, start off with the oral. Who wants to do it first? Oh, I'm not sucking dick. What? You know that. I'm not bottoming or sucking dick. That's all I know, so. Because I never do that for, so. I mean, I did it like a few times. I sucked dick for a substantial amount of money, but besides that, I did so terrible at it that nobody will ever pay me again. So. And I gave you more money? Yeah. Okay. That's the deal. We're gonna do it. Okay, I want more money too. If you notice, we never talk about how much we actually make. We never do. It's, it's uh, one of those unspoken rules because this guy could be getting paid significantly less than you. And if he finds out you're making this much, now he's gonna want that. And he may not be worth that. You know, you get paid what you're worth. We're providing a fantasy, there's no enjoyment in it. It's not glamorous, that's for sure. Just, all right, let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. go. Any questions? Are you no, all good? Hurry up. I want you to leave me alone so we can get okay. this over with. All right, so go get cleaned up and we'll um, get this thing done. I'd just like right, to be right. done with it. I'd like to have porn and everything behind me. Like, it's just, it's not great. To, you know, especially if you want a relationship, it takes away a lot of that stuff in life that really matters. Don't do porn, if you're thinking about it. Anybody that's watching this, um, find something else to do. You don't need the money that bad. <laughs> um, at some point, you will regret it. Do you regret it? Of course. Uh, of course I do. But I don't have a problem with it. I made my decision. I did it. It's over with. Can't go back. But I mean, if I knew what I knew now and was really thinking, no, don't do it. It's not worth it. Find something else to do. Be broke. <laughs> Be broke. It's better. Because it does. It follows you forever. As soon as the clothes come off, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to this angle. I'm going to get Denver first. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and get you, Jimmy. Okay? So. I'm excited. I'm oh, sorry. You all got your phones off, right? I don't have yeah. my phone off. Is that Sabrina again? It sure is. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Shannon. So I just got a phone call. Do you have a minute? So um, we got the test results. Shit. Now go behind the scenes and find out how far these straight boys will go to get paid. Over 1,400 scenes are online at BrokeStraightBoys.com. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Shannon. So I just got a phone call. The test results are in and everybody's fine, except Jimmy. His results were inconclusive. So I know that you guys were planning on shooting something down there. Make sure that Jimmy won't be in the scene. This sucks. OK. Um, all right, let me give you a call back later. I need to go talk to him. So, so, we got a little bit of a problem. What's up? Okay, so Sabrina called. Um, Y'all did labs the other day, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, they can't clear you guys. So okay. everything before a scene has to be cleared, okay? I understand we're doing condom scenes, but yeah. our company policy is we do testing, whether it's condom or bareback, yeah. So even though it's condom, it's important for you guys to be completely clear. That way we make sure we do the safest scene possible, okay? Right. I don't know what's going on. There, It could be a lot of different things. It could be that the vials, maybe they got somehow mixed, mislabeled. It could mean that they ran the wrong type of test. I mean, it sucks because I know that you all get money for your scenes. But you know what? We've got a lot of shit going on today. So yeah. we can go get on with the rest of the day. So does this mean that we don't get paid or what? What do you think? Um, we'll probably get a cancellation fee like every other company. A what? A cancellation fee. Oh. <laughs> How about this? Like a like a McDonald's dinner or something? Yes. Okay, deal. What do you want? Oh, you want chicken? <laughs> you want chicken? Yeah, you want chicken we'll call it even then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm not fucking him, so I'm fine. How am I supposed to actually make some money if uh, I'm not filming there, Shay? We'll go back to Denver tomorrow. 
um, they told me that they can get y'all in and get tested. Um, we get results back um, by around two or three the next day. Mm -hmm. So we should know. Uh, I'll at least get you, you know, a scene. I think I should get extra. Okay, so you want um, a drive through meal too? No, I want money. Don't worry, we're gonna get you a scene. Okay. We'll make it work, All I right. promise you. Everyone's gonna leave happy. Okay. That sounds and good. Empty. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right. Okay, so let's get going. We got a busy day. We're gonna have a good time. Let's uh, pack up. All right. Get out of here. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think there's any secret that I, I work these guys hard. But sometimes I have to step back and realize, you know, they haven't seen Vegas. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, that one last night, I gotta see some ladies sooner or later. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Denver Grand. And you're a Something like that. Sergio, you like Vegas? Oh, baby, I love Vegas. <laughs> yes, it's probably the best way to end Vegas. Thankfully, you got to go to a strip club. I wanted my dollars. I had plans for the dollar menu. The amount of dollars there, I would have been eating off the dollar menu at least 50 days. Couldn't picture anything better than oh, this. Yeah. I am seriously going to be in so much trouble when I get home. My girlfriend's going to hate me after this. Oh, Denver, you're so, you're so hot. Let me give you a dollar. Another day. I think we need to just stay here and live here. <laughs> how, much, how much do you think rent on this little area would be? <laughs> I don't know. We should ask that. As long as we pay the strippers, though. All right, we man, should get go. paid for having our shirts off in here, right? Mark's going to kill us if we don't get out of here. Yeah, yeah, we're we're really. spent all his money. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's going to have to push it up. Oh, gosh. I don't necessarily like to have sex with another man, but I do enjoy getting scenes because that puts dollar signs in my eyes. <laughs> it's hard being judged um, by other people, mainly my girlfriend's parents. Guess I'm gonna find out who my real friends are um, and who my real family is. I wish I could just have one girl to go home to. You know, one girl that's down for you. Hell no, I'm not gonna miss anything. I'm ready to go home. Like, I'm, like I've been telling y'all the whole time. I just wanna be home with my girlfriend in my own bed. Want to see what happens behind the studio door? Visit us at BrokeStraightBoys.com for over 1,400 uncensored scenes.